Phil! My boy. This right here is fantastic. Thank you, sir. We really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you making me millions. I'm glad you finally stepped away from all that nerd shit talking about squonks and Halloween. It's like you didn't even want women to listen to your music. Yeah, Mike's been saying that one for years. Yeah, but you do know what this means now, right? No. It means you gotta step it up. Everyone's got their eyes on you now. Even those filthy yanks from across the fucking pond. If you wanna stay on top, no. If you wanna stay on this label, you'll make me a record that'll reach everyone. I want a platinum album. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Well, great. I look forward to hearing what you come up with. And take all the time you need. Just remember, platinum or else. Oh, and Phil, stay out of your way for me. Okay, so then what's your problem? My problem is we made a bad pop album, Mike. Oh my god, who gives a shit? We made money from the album. I cannot go back on my creative integrity. We need to go back to Prague. That Tony. You know, people actually like their album. People bought our album. If we keep going in this direction, we will be on top. Guys, our longtime fans hated the last album. Do we want to just leave them out in the dust? Yeah! I'd much rather train in those virgin losers to have the chance to fuck some birds. Guys! Was it always about the women, Mike? Look, remember when we used to write real music? Oh, that's right. We wrote real music, you know, where we would sing about alien landlords and STD snake women. Yeah, real profound. Guys, what? All right, let's take a step back here. Clearly we all want something different for this next album, so let's compromise. Piss off, Phil. What? Yeah, no offense, but we do not care about anything you say. Yeah, you remember our friend Peter? Yeah, when he left the band, you just took it into your own hands and you made it your own thing. How do I put this? Your ego is toxic and it is tearing this band apart. All right, clearly I'm missing something here, but you guys gotta show me some respect. I'm the leader after all. <laughs> That's right, and who made that decision? Both of you, actually. I don't even wanna be here. Well, seems you are. So you better have something lined up because our career is in your hands. Guys, come on. We gotta work together or else Schlitz is gonna kill the band. Mike, you're with me, right? Shut up, son of a boy. Don't you have a broken marriage to fix? Man, things have never been this bad. We used to get along so well. I need to become a strong leader just like Peter. Surely he'd know what to do. Can we stop? I can't do this. Are, are we seriously not going to talk about this? What? You can't be serious. I mean, touring's one thing, but are you really gonna wear a costume while we record? Yes, Michael, I do. The costumes are a gateway into the mind of our music. When I wear the costume, I physically become the character. And right now, I'm Rail, the aerosol kid. Yeah, even I gotta admit, this is kind of fucking nuts. Anthony, I'm disappointed in you. You've always agreed with my creative vision. Yeah, but don't you think this is one step too far, Peter? Well, let's see what Philip thinks. Surely he won't mind. Well, uh, it is a bit distracting, isn't it? I agree, it's a little. Shut up, Steven. You know, it's clear we're never gonna see eye to eye on this matter. So I think it's time I spread my wings and fly far away from the constraints of the artistically bankrupt. Good luck, boys. You'll need it. Ta-ta. Well, there goes our careers. Got any ideas, Steven? Yeah, that sounds about right. Phil, get your arse up here. Yeah, sing something about squonks, why don't ya? God, how 
were we ever successful? There's got to be something I can do to make this album great. I know if I just come up with a good enough idea, the guys will really respect me as a leader. Is that... Prog? And Pop? Together? It makes perfect sense! I don't know who you are, Mr. TV Woman, but you really saved me, thank you. You know, you're actually pretty cute for a TV, too. <laughs> guys! Guys, wake up! What is it? Yeah, Phil, what do you want? I figured out how to make a platinum album. Yeah, sure you did. I'm also sure you figured out a way to get back with your wife. <laughs> yeah. I have had it with you two lazy pricks. You two are going to start showing me some goddamn respect. I'm the fucking leader of Genesis. Damn. We to finally grow a pair, Phil. So tell us, how are we going to make a platinum album? Easy. We compromise. Take it away, Phil! Phil! My boy, you've done it again. Well, Schlitz, you won a platinum record, and Genesis doesn't disappoint. You could say that again, Phil. This is even better than I expected. Everyone's talking about Duke, plus these co-kids in America love you. And the way you combine progressive rock and pop was absolutely brilliant. Thanks, Schlitz. You don't even want to know what I had to do to hold of that. You're right. I don't fucking care. But I couldn't be prouder. However, you do know what this means, don't you? Wait, Eddie Schlitz. We'll see you in a year. Oh, and one more thing, Phil. Is it about my wife again? No, no. Just wanted to say, what a great leader you've become. You filled Peter's pointy shoes very well. Thank you, Schlitz. But don't compare me to Peter. Genesis is officially under new management. And there's gonna be some serious changes. 